Sharif Cooper is one of the most dominant players in the SEC as a freshman. Despite only being eligible for 12 games, he averaged 20.2 points per game and 8.1 assists per game. Sharif has all the tools of a great point guard. He's extremely smart and makes great decisions using ball screens. He has great court vision and is able to set up his teammates. And ultimately, he just has an elite feel for the game that's going to allow him to be successful as a point guard at the NBA level. In this video, we'll go through some clips of Sharif and I'll pause the clip right before a read or decision is made. Then I'll allow you to decide what that read should be. As always, there's never usually just one answer, but every decision made can be justified. And there's always something to learn from watching these plays. Let's get into it. What's Sharif's read coming off of this ball screen facing this drop coverage? Throughout this video, you'll see teams guard Sharif different ways coming off of ball screens. In this situation, they play him with a drop coverage. They drop that hedge defender a little bit lower than the level of the screen. And because that drop defender is really big and a lot slower than Sharif, a simple in and out coming downhill attacking that guy with momentum is enough to shift him towards the middle and create a wide open lane for Sharif to get to the basket. What's Sharif's read in this drop coverage situation? So this is a situation where you see the importance of having an in-between, a mid-range game or a floater game as a perimeter player. It essentially makes you unguardable if the defense decides to play a drop coverage with your defender going over. Because if that drop defender steps up to try and take away that mid-range shot, he's fast enough to go by him. But if he stays back to not get beat, then he's essentially giving up either a mid-range shot or a floater. What's the read in this hard head situation? So Sharif bounces this to the outside and gets around that hedge defender, which gives him an open lane to the basket. But there's one little detail that sets him up to be able to do this. When he first meets that hedge defender, notice how he gets his arm around him to set himself up to be able to essentially pull himself around that hedge defender and get to the basket. Because of the size difference, this is likely not something a ref would ever call. And it's an extremely high IQ play made by Sharif. And it's this sort of physicality and intelligence that allows him to be so dominant using balls screens. What's Sharif's read in this soft hedge situation? So this reads pretty simple. They're playing a soft hedge coverage with the defender trying to recover instead of switching. And because that defender gets caught up and Sharif's able to drag him out far away from that pop guy, Sharif can hit his teammate on the pop and his teammate's got a wide open three. What's Sharif's read in this ball screen situation? This is a bit of a weird defensive setup where that screener's defender is dropped really far in the paint, but that gap defender who's guarding the guy on the wing is playing over almost as if he was the headed defender. Seeing this, that means that the defense is loading up on the strong side, essentially playing four on three, meaning that on the weak side wing, there's gonna be at least one of Sharif's teammates open. So he kicks it immediately to the wing, which creates a long closeout and a three point shot. What's Sharif's read in this ball screen switch situation? Switches a lot of times, especially on ball screens, can create some major mismatches size-wise. And you can see in this clip that Sharif and JT Thor both know immediately that upon this switch, Thor is going to seal that smaller guard and immediately receive that post-entry pass for an easy post-up scoring opportunity. What's Sharif's read in this drop situation? Sharif creates this easy driving kick three for his teammate because he attacks that drop defender with his change of speed. Sharif starts this up by setting up his initial defender slowly and then attacking 100% off of that screen, 
which puts pressure on that drop defender. Alabama has another help defender playing below that, which creates a two-on-one for Auburn and a wide open kick to the corner. Point being, when you put pressure on that drop defender by attacking them, typically that's gonna create scoring opportunities for either you or for your teammates almost every time. What's the read in this ball screen hard hedge situation? Because of how far over Sharif drags this ball screen and brings the defense, he really forces that help defender in the paint into a long closeout to his guy on the wing. And that's what makes ball screens so effective in today's game of basketball. There's almost always going to be something that the defense can't cover, even if they take away the primary and secondary options. Sharif sees that right here, hits the cross court pass, and his teammate gets an open three. If you guys enjoyed this video, make sure you click the top link in my description below to get my free elite perimeter score workout. We work on a bunch of skills you're going to need if you want to be an elite player on the perimeter. Make sure you guys drop a like and subscribe and drop a comment. Let me know what you think. Talk to you guys soon. Peace.